Yeah, you've got to define how the relationship's going to work at the start because it could end badly. Um, if you've got the right person, they're, they're often ambitious, they've got their own vision and dreams, and if they're compatible with yours, to let them go. But it's also um, showing enough interest in them to support them, but not micromanage them, that it holds them back. So if I was to get too involved with Mikey and just tell him, you're doing it wrong, do it differently, do it my way, he's lo losing ownership of it. Uh, he's trying to separate, do his own thing, where my role is a bit more supportive. So it is that kind of, there is a real balance in relationship of, I'm there to support you in your ministry, I've got confidence in you and your ministry, but I need to just, um, yeah, just make sure you're headed in the right direction. But the micro stuff, you need to sort that out and, and do it your way, yeah. There's been some particular, a variety of different church models around here. We made the conscious choice not to be a campus model, not to be a multi-church model, um, but in God's sense of humour, um, he's been growing the work here. Mikey's come to us and we've been able to support his work at Sunnybank, uh, similar at Logan as well. And all of a sudden we've got this team of ministries happening in different areas. It's not what we planned but it's working, it's, it's achieving the vision. So when I set out the vision of 1%, no, I didn't think it would look like this, but it's certainly in God's ways, it's happening, yeah, it's just good.